Hello and welcome to Super Seducer 2. We're back bigger and better. I listened to your feedback and we've made a number of improvements. The first thing is ethnic diversity. We've got Asian characters, black characters, Arab characters and even a Scottish guy. I also listened to female players' feedback and now you can actually play levels from a chick's perspective. Finally, I'm joined by Charlotte. Hi everyone, and I'm here to try and give a little bit of a female perspective on things. Hope you all enjoy the game. Press start, and I hope you enjoy it. Arthur, I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. It's my kumpa. Arthur, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good.
And instead of spending your money on a game like this, hey, why don't you walk up to a pretty girl in the mall and say, hey, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't just keep it cool, guys. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I was sure this one was going to work. I was absolutely certain. It was such a legendary uh, piece of advice, you know? I was sure it would work. But it didn't. Security? Security? Woo, yeah, man. You did it. You chose the very first red option in the game. Congratulations. Dumbass, obviously you don't put your little finger through your trousers and wiggle it around like a dick. Damn, I thought that was going to be the right one. <sighs> okay, that's one possible ending. Um, yeah. I mean, it just might not be your day to approach someone, and if you want to turn around and try again tomorrow, then so be it. Yeah, I mean, she won't be there, but maybe someone else, or, or maybe just stay single forever. Never yeah. approach. Well, what's meant to be is meant to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one possible ending. Um, yeah. I mean, it just might not be your... Hey, how are you doing? I'm, I'm very good, how are it's you? good to hear. Well, I'm very, very well. Listen, um, I was just sitting there, saw you, and thought I'd come and say hi. Hello. This is a direct way to start, and I think in this situation it's pretty cool. Um, whenever you're approaching a woman in front of her friends or in a public place, uh, she would at least appreciate that you're very confident if you can go up and, and do it like that versus, you know, having a little weaselly way to do it. Yeah, I think if you can show confidence from the get-go, that always puts you in a better position. So I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Lottie. Ah, uh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, lovely yeah. to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Hello, are you ready to order?
Yeah, I'll have a slice of、um, the cherry cake. And for the lady,、uh, she's going to be eating my dick. Yeah. What?、Um, are, you, are, cherry you, cake? are you for real? You, you absolute pervert. You don't like dicks. I like dicks, but I definitely don't like yeah, your dick. I knew dick. you liked it. I really, Babe, really don't.、On. Can you, you just get off? Seen it? No, I really don't want to see your dick ever. Not you now, are disgusting. but somewhere. Look at your smirk. You're actually just like a slimy pervert. A smirk. Can you get off my table? Yeah, yeah. Just go. Why are you screaming? Shoot. There's people. Shoot. There's people. Get away, pervert. There's people knowing you. Go on.、Yourself. Go on. Off. Off. This is just horrendous. A bit of an unusual order. Also, wrong, yeah?、Uh, yes, very、oh. wrong. Yeah, hang on a second. Give me, give me a look, see that? Yeah. Okay. Won't be long. <laughs>、uh, you know what? This menu's fucking shit, man. Let's go back to my house. Got nice food. Oh. Yeah? Richard. Yeah. I've got an even better idea. I doubt it, but what? Well, you can doubt all you want because that's the kind of thing you do, isn't it? Well,、okay. doubt. Put people down.、Mm -hmm. How about. I go, go down, back to my go house, you with twat.、Uh, little early for the invitation to the house. Yeah, and a little bit rude as well. Pretty rude. So, do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. I'm、uh -huh. going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm going to have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5 30 in the evening, that's、Why、quite、not? romantic. Or、yeah. just a straight espresso. Sorry. Lottie, I hate to do this, but I've got something really urgent. So it's lovely to meet you and all that, but I've got to go. Right.、Um, Bye. God, how rude.、Uh, waitress? Hey, buddy, what's so urgent? There is a YouTube convention, my friend, and now is your chance. Ooh, who's there exactly? The vice journalists. Great. Betty Jack. Awesome, perfect. Boogie. Ah, he's quite likable. Tim Sterling. Fucking prick. Alpha Rad, friend without benefits. I like those guys too. There is also the Mini Mint. Nah, he didn't answer my email, so whatever. Anyone else? Bro Jared. Let's fucking do this. Lisa, bring me my special briefcase. <laughs> Die, you fuckers! Oh, nice.
I guess that's the end of the stream then. I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. It's my kung fu. Arthur, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Hey, listen, I was just sitting there, saw you, and you caught my eye, so oh. I thought I'd come and say hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Coming for a spot of lunch. Oh, lovely. Mm. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her and if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. So I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Lottie. Uh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, lovely yeah. to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Hello, I already to order. So do you already know what you'd like? I'm going to be naughty today. Okay. I'm going to have a chocolate cheesecake and a lovely cup of tea, please. Cool, and I will have the cherry cake and can I have some English breakfast black tea with no milk and um, a shot of vodka, please. Thanks. So the daytime vodka shots? No, not cool. What would you think if I ordered vodka and was down in it on a date. On a lunchtime tea date. It's a casual, sunny afternoon. Just not the dumb thing. Sorry. Sorry about that, just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. 
You know what, it's such a lovely day and you're dressed amazingly. It's all summery, but it's got something to it, like a real interesting style you have. Thank Very you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. But what I do is not that important. Main thing for you to know, my dear, mm -hmm. is that I make enough to... Yeah, I can definitely offer you like five hundo. If you come back with me quickly, you know, get it on. What do you say? Dollars, not pounds or Have you euros. just asked? Asked? Have you just given... Given? Have you... Have yeah. you just offered me money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mon do you understand? Money, sex... I have a boat! Right, so you need to clean it, buy new sails or something? I don't clean it! Well, not you, but pay someone, that was the point. Now you have money from me, you can pay... I don't need money for anything. I thought you were here, a civilised young gentleman. Yeah. Coming to take me out on a date. Yeah, to take your date to my bedroom. You're an asshole. Oh. You're a complete... Do you know it's what? It's been said. What, darling? Do you know what? I can give you something. Oh, ah, yeah? Yes. Give it to me, babe. I can, look. Look at these sunglasses. Ah, uh, I'm looking. 500 pounds. Okay. In your face. Pretty cool. Look at this lovely hat. A thousand pounds. I don't need money. Take it. I'm going to my boat. All right. How much do these get on eBay, you think? I mean, when is casual prostitution acceptable? Uh, an indecent proposal when it was a million dollars. That's a movie. Ah. Uh. It's funny that you ask, babe. I'll tell you. I work wonders in bed. I beg your pardon. Do you get it? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who I am? Lottie. I am Lottie Wentworth Miller. Okay, you don't Thank say you. things like that about me. To me. It's not about you, it's about me, it babe. It's despicable. I've got skills in the bedroom. I think, oh my goodness, don't even talk about bed talk. You don't like beds? We're sitting at a table. Yeah, Look we'd be lying we in a bed. Soon we're going to be lying in a bed. We're together. absolutely never going to lie in a bed. You'll be lying yeah. in that bed alone and it'll be cold, the way cold. your attitude Why? is. Yes. Do you like grapes? Uh, kind of. You're going to get one in oh. your face. Just leave you're the doing table. food fighting. Just like get out. Yeah, you, you're the child. You're making it, you're bringing it out in me, aren't you? Disgusting. Just go. Like... <laughs> trot, trot, trot along. Spit spot, pervert. <clears throat> Legendary line, Charlotte? No, terrible line. Um, what if you say you work hard? Because my dick's hard or something. Like any, Again? Anything along those lines? No, I'm going to say a blank never there. It's bit up her own ass anyway. Fucking don't even want to go on a date with her now. Well, as you could probably tell, um, I'm a mumble rapper. Uh? A mumble rapper? You know what that is? What's a mumble you rapper? You don't like rap music or you don't um, really... I don't really know rap music, but... I give you a yeah. little something. Let's, let's For bitches it. all trying to swallow this, I feel like I'm fighting an octopus. Thought it was killers, camped out in my bushes, but came to find out it's photographers. <laughs> Flash. Like that. Oh, right. Cool, yeah? Mm. Like, actually, I'm, uh, I'm, I've got a pharmaceuticals company and I also make YouTube videos. That's, that's kind of the two oh, wow. things I've got going on. Wow. Do you do your YouTube videos as the pharmaceutical company? No, nah, completely that... unrelated. I try right. to have different things going on and then. And you know, what it's are your YouTube videos about? Well, I will tell you. 
obviously I have amazing rap skills, so I can I can you know do this. But yeah, if you if you want to, I mean, you're always going to be asked your profession, so you should be able to answer it in an interesting way. If you can make a laugh or if you can be passionate about it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you should be ready for this question because you're always going to be asked it. So don't let it be boring. No, you can't be boring. You've got to be passionate about it, or as you say, make a joke of, out of what you do, but do something interesting. Who's your favorite mumble rapper? Oh, I have so many. You know, I just can't quite place a name at the moment, but come back to me. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work, but I this do way. a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You yeah. know, something interesting I've noticed, I've met some actors, and they're always very interesting people because they're empathetic. And that's, Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions. So uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people. But because of this, you can really you can get feel it there. and yeah. you can get the vibe it's amazing excellent it's yeah. a very cool job actually yeah it is it's, it's nice to dip in and out mm. obviously so. hey do you recognize her in the car yes i do i think who is I she i think she's that famous russian model what's her name i don't know but God, yeah. she's beautiful isn't she yeah not bad wow See you later. Ooh. You know what? I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to get her autograph quickly. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll be back probably. Hang on. Probably? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Darstruck. I like your car. Thank you. It's a Mercedes. Yeah. Yes. Red one. Obviously. Oh, uh, what are you doing? It's really. So immature. <sighs> this is an, um, it's a nice car. Thank Super you. Super nice. It's I know. A, thank you. Uh, it's all three fifty, yeah. Yes, you're right. You know what? You're beautiful. Your car's amazing. <sighs> Let's fuck in the car. Oh my god, you wanna yeah, have yeah. sex in yeah, the babe, car? Let's get, let's get, then get, let get in, in, get yeah, in, yeah. get Jump in, 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 in yeah. fucking crazy oh, bastard. Fucking bitch. All that cardio for nothing, man. Fucking hell. Big tease! But I'll find you! Sex in the car? I mean, I, again, his choice of phrases are awful.
this your car? Yeah. You got license registration? Why you ask? I'm an undercover cop. Oh, yeah. Actually, um, we've been hearing reports about a girl in a red Mercedes who's mm -hmm. transporting drugs across mm -hmm. the border. She's hiding them in her pussy. So I'm going to need to check you. So if you'd like to get out of the car, do you we want can me do to this. show you something? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I have something for you. What you got? See that? Uh, you're also an undercover cop. Yep. So now what you need to do? Um, we were rehearsing. So now I will just go. And, yeah, uh, immediately. See you in the precinct, yeah? I'm a cop, you idiot. Um, can you give me a lift to the centre? Why don't you use the Uber? No, um, my, my app is um, deleted. And maybe then uh, Subway is the best idea? No, it's dangerous, dangerous. Got cr criminals. Oh, you're scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you don't have other options, I will give you a lift. So after chasing her this far, asking for lifts, not really, yeah, not really realistic. Gentlemanly. Could just run as well, or take Uber, or yeah, just, many options. Yeah, you're an adult, you can get around. Anyway, my name's Richard. My name is Marina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? Fine, and you? Tired, but... Um, Why? <laughs> what do you think? I've run five miles or kilometers or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. Good, good cardio. Good cardio, good training. It's a long way. Yeah, but that's nice. It's a nice place here for running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know what, I've been chasing you for ages, but um, you look really open and friendly, so... Thank you. I think it might be all right. Is it right, you're a friendly person? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. Thank you. This is cool because by saying that she's open and friendly, then in the minutes following this, she's likely to be more open and friendly because she's already agreed that she is. And you're also complimenting her on her character and not necessarily how she looks. And this is always a very good option. Marina, I've got an intuition about you immediately. Do you want <laughs> Tell to hear me. It? Um, I think that you're very tough and independent. And so it's hard for people to get to know you. Probably, is that right? yes. Yeah. But the, with people that you're close to, you're good friends family, you're actually very warm and open and kind. Yep, you're right. right. Yes, good intuition. Hmm. I can just feel it. I've got a great question. Ask me. You ready? Uh, okay, what is more numerous, the books you've read or the guys you've banged? <laughs> books. But books? I've read around thousands. A thousand books? Yes, God, obviously more than you read. Yeah, I would never read books. Audio books are okay. Tony Robbins, Richard Bandler, Harry Potter. So this is obviously wrong, but maybe not super bad, it's kind of funny, no? Mm, it's wrong for a reason? Yeah, and I've got a question for you, by the way, Charlotte. Okay. Do you read a lot of books? Yes. Cool. Is that the end of your question? Yeah. 
I've got a great question. Wonderful great. question. Ask you ready? Me. Yes. Do you do you do you do you prefer it in the pussy or in the ass? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's too. Yeah. You yeah. like it? You ready, babe? What? Yeah, Where are you doing? here I come. I'm gonna drive. You're gonna drive? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm trying. Let's go. Yeah. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Normal question, surely, no? No, not all right. No? Never, in fact. For fuck's sake. So I've got good intuition, but I have a question. <laughs> Ask. Are you a good girl or a bad girl? Oh, such an interesting question. Yeah. So, if I'm bad... Uh, if you're so bad, what? if you're bad... If you're bad... If you're good, if you're good to me, uh -huh. that's, that's good. If you're bad to me, that's bad. If you're bad to... Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. If you're naughty, bad, it's good. And if I'm good? If you're good to who? To uh -huh. everyone? I don't know, but... But you're a little bit bad or good? Or both? Or both. Both? Uh -huh. you like this question? No, I don't. I'm not even going to warrant a response to I've got, I've got a question, Go actually. On. Are you a good girl or a bad girl? <clears throat> Are you a great girl or a not great girl? Are you a naughty girl or a well-behaved girl? I'm a girl that's not interested in this conversation anymore, thank you. And there you have it. What have you been up to today? Um, actually, I was in the gym. I just finished my training. Um, do you always, so you're a supermodel, so you need to look like this in the gym, or you did it afterwards? You mean my makeup? Yeah, all the makeup, the sexy What's dress. With... <laughs> and the makeup's great, but I just think if you're working out and you've got... I was born like this. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I just have some other plans after my training. Ah, so you're going somewhere super glamorous now. Super glamorous. Yeah. I'm going to have my cold pressed juice now. Cold pressed juice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I like? What? I like cold pressed pussy juice. <laughs> oh my god, you're so awful. You like awful. it? Can I, no. Are you juicy now? You're getting juicy oh. for me, babe. You're feeling juicy, nice and wet and juicy and Do you like uh, juice? No, don't even try it Do on like me. Juices? I've heard it. It doesn't work. It's disgusting. But do you like juice in general? Does it matter? We want to know. Yes, I like fresh apple juice. Ah, okay. Do you like juice? Yeah, yeah. Good. Pineapple, pear, good mix. Yeah, I love cold pressed juice. It's better than just the normal fresh juice and that's better than the packet juice, right? Of course. Very nice. But I tell you what, um, I'll buy the juices if you pay for the gasoline. What do you say? I'll come with you. <laughs> Great idea. So this is an interesting one and whenever you try to suggest something, some kind of uh, you know, date or going somewhere, if you suggest it like this, you know, I'll pay for the juice, you pay for the gasoline, uh, it's much easier to say yes. If you say, can I come with you to the juice bar, um, it's a little bit weaker and she's often going to say no, even if she might otherwise have agreed. What do you think? Yeah, and you're also elongating the date by suggesting there's 
longevity and paying for the gasoline, you're going to go further <laughs> on in the day. Nice one. All right, shall we go? Okay, get in. Don't mind if I do. No. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. Cool. So, which juice bar were you going to? Um, I was going to the new one in the center. You know, it's I don't remember the name. Mm. I'm not sure, but you know what? There's a place. Um, it's not too far, I think, but it's in a beautiful location. You might even say romantic. It's by the lake. Have mm -hmm. you been to that one? No, I have never been there. Let me find it on the map. Do you know the address? Because I don't know how to go there. Mm, no, but if I put it in, juice, juice bar, lake juice or something. Yeah, there it is. Lake juice. <laughs> See? This okay. one. So you just go there and then there oh, and then there. Really? So not far away? Yeah, it's not far. You want to try it? Okay, let's try this one. You said you've just been to the gym, right? Right. Yeah. That made me think of something because gyms have showers and uh, it's a little bit dirty, but do you want to hear it? <laughs> okay, not too try. dirty. Try, okay. not too dirty. No. Did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Mm-mm. -mm. I no? didn't know that. And the other 7% sing in the shower. Then do you know what song they sing? Which song? Do you know? No. Ah, so you must be in the 93%. Oh my god. <laughs> but nice joke, but not it's for too the much. first meeting. A little bit dirty, but kind of funny. No? <laughs> so this one is uh, too sexual. Yeah. Um, do you know this one? Yeah, I've just heard it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, did, did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Did you know? I didn't know. The other 7% sing. Do you know what song they sang? What? You don't know? No. Then you must be in the 93%. Boom. Hilarious. Like no. I don't. Just literally a conversation killer there. It's just not charming. There you have it. Um, so where is it? I think it was here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it must have shut down. Now they've, they've got this Coca-Cola place over there. Maybe... Oh, maybe you, know. you planned this. Well, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. This is a very beautiful place, as you see. Yes. And I know something 100%, right? 100% of girls, 100%. maybe 200% of girls, love having sex outdoors in nature. Especially if someone might be able to see. So I was thinking I'll just bend you over this thing here, just be banging you. And then these grannies watching, kids, swans. So Charlotte, going to need your help on this one. Obviously, it's a bit inappropriate, but is it factually accurate? It's totally inappropriate. But factually accurate? Does it Sex matter? in public places. Sorry, dude. This fucking guy. Where is it? I'm sorry. It was here. I'm sorry. It was and somewhere now? here. And uh, wasting your time and you had to drive here and stuff. Mm -hmm. We should have gone to that one you said in the centre, right? Probably, but time already spent. Yeah. Anyway, it's quite nice. Got a little waterfall there. Lake. See that swan? Mm-hmm. 
But it's not so bad, right? Unless you're thirsty. Admitting your mistakes is good. Uh -huh. Going too far, it kind of loses, you lose something if you're doing that. I'm so sorry, please forgive me if it's yeah, too it's much. Yeah, too, it's too much, mm -hmm. definitely too much. You know, I used to come here when I was young, mm -hmm. um, feed the ducks, the swans. And some... now, when you're not young anymore? Ah, uh, now I'm too busy, so. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hmm. Surely there should be an option D. What shall we do? Hmm? What shall we do? Where are you leading? What shall we do? Well, I just knew the moment I saw you that you were a dirty slut. So I know exactly what to do don't with touch you. Me. I'm gonna don't, touch you, babe. Don't touch me. I'm gonna touch you. Don't touch me, I'm otherwise you're <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, I can't see. Oh, 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 fucking Ah, oh, where are you, you where are you, you bitch? What the where are you? Ah oh, oh. Ah, what the? Ah, come back, you bitch. Ah. I mean, I'd be on the phone to the police immediately. What are we going to do? I don't know. Hmm. You tell me. Well, I'll tell you what I can do mm -hmm. for you. You ready for this, darling? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go down on you. Right here, right now. Darling, wait a second. I need to do something. You cleaning? First. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it's matter. You! What <laughs> the fuck's going on, babe? It's a gun! Turn back! It's a gun! It's not a wet wipe! Turn, 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 turn. What do you mean, turn? You have three seconds to turn. Alright, wait, 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 Hello? Can I turn? This is not comfortable, baby. Darling, I'm thirsty. Are you there? What if I need toilet? Totally inappropriate, I would say. Disgusting. Marina. Mm -hmm. I've got a radical idea. Radical. Tell yeah, me. Yeah. So get this. Juice bar's not here. Obviously. So, we could go to the Coca-Cola place, but no, we don't really want that. We could go and try and find another juice bar, but... Mm, mm. Mm? I tell you what, I've got a juice machine. I've got oranges, pineapples, maybe I've even got some mangoes. So why don't we go to my place and... I'll make us some delicious juice. What do you say? So your place? Mm-hmm. Or the juice? Just the juice. Mm. Well, okay. Excellent. Bullshit. Nice one, this is the right option. Obviously, it's very bold, um, but you've already got some indicators of interest. She does want juice. You got the juice. Why not? Look, there's nothing wrong with being bold and confident. That's nothing to, you know, to, to stop. It's an attractive quality. Good luck. You know, one of the things I like most in life is how you can make small decisions and it just changes your life in a completely unexpected, but exciting way. Yeah, like today, how we met. 
Yeah, I don't know where you're leading to, but I need to tell you. Mm-hmm. If I'm coming to a house, I'm just coming to have juice. Juice. Not sex. Not sex. Juice. Tasty juice. Anyway, you should remember that I just come out of my kickboxing class. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course you're gonna come back with me. Because if you don't, you'll never see your family again. Okay. You're gonna get them back in little pieces and I'm going to eat their liver and their kidney and roast it and marinate it and then... She didn't honestly take this seriously. Um, no. Good. You know what? You got me all wrong. Huh? I just knew that you would have amazing juice recipes. I think you know your stuff when it comes to juice. So I wasn't thinking sex at all. Nothing like that. Nothing, no flirting, no kissing, no holding hands, not even sitting too close. Definitely not sex, just juice. Very, very tasty juice. Okay, do you? Okay. I need to shake. No, 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 I can no touch me. Okay, no touch me. I respect yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I, a bit too much. Maybe mm. later when you know me better. Nice one. Uh, that's the correct choice. Again, it's quite playful, but it's a little bit tongue in cheek. So she does get the idea that there's still this undercurrent of sexual tension. Yeah, she should know this is just a little joke and it's quite funny. You very thirsty? Mm -hmm. I'm super thirsty. Look, that juice is not going to cold press itself. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here you go. Thank you. This is orange and pineapple. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. Had it for the first time in uh, Singapore. I'm trying it for the first time now. Oh, cool. Well, tell me what you think. Mmm, really nice, refreshing. You're good, right? Yeah, when it's hot outside, it's perfect, I believe. What's your favourite juice? Actually, my favourite is tomato juice. Tomato? Yeah. It's like good. Bloody, bloody Mary, yeah, with vodka. And after Bloody Mary, <laughs> when you are, have some hangover, it's perfect tomato juice. Ah, very nice. Cool. I, you know what's very good? In tropical countries, when they have all the different fruits, you can have dragon fruit, uh, sour sop, like all, all kinds of crazy fruits. It sounds so nice, tropical countries. Yeah. Do you like to travel? Yeah. You know what, Marina? I made a resolution to myself because I was just getting tired of bad sex. You know, like you, you meet someone, no, right, but too much. So I'm like, no more. The rest of my life, only good sex. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah, but I've been studying it, you see, because I've thought about it, I've been watching, and now I think I can tell when someone's going to be good in bed. Uh, how can you tell it? Like the way they move the way they behave. In real life? Yeah, and you can just connect it. So give me some example. Well, if someone is, you know, too kind of stiff when they walk, too strict and they don't have this kind of movement, the way they react to things that they like, whether they're just like, it's nice, or whether they, you know, show some passion in their movements. But that's so many, easy. Many things. That's many, so many easy. things. 
But maybe some little details. But it's important, isn't it? Do you do you like bad sex? Well, I never, I never think about people how they are in bed when I see them in real life. Yeah. Like I think about people in sex only about those people who I really like. Yeah, but do you have bad sex? Yes, I had. Right, you shouldn't. Yeah, don't you agree with me? Yep, I agree with you. All right, high five. <laughs> <laughs> This one I actually quite like because it's a way to talk about sex and also imply that you're good in bed. And by this point, it's maybe not terrible to, to talk about sex in the conversation. So it's not something I would personally do, but I think it's okay. It wouldn't be a killer. Wouldn't be a killer, no. You said you do some, what was it, Thai boxing? Or... No, it was kickboxing. Ah, kickboxing. You know what is it? Yeah, uh, that's What's the one. What's the difference between kickboxing and Thai box? Ah, you're testing me. Okay, so uh, Thai boxing is where you can kick, punch, but you can also elbow. Right. So it's awful and knee and all of that stuff. You want to see real kickboxing in your life? Mm, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, you want to try? It. With you? Yes! In this dress? Yes, in this dress. In these heels? In these heels. Sounds great. Yeah, show me something. Let's start. You ready? I was born ready. Let's and now start. Now I'm even readier. Let's start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me show you something. You, you ready? know what to do. I know loads of stuff. All right, you ready? Yeah. Wata, wata, wata. Hadouken. <laughs> yeah, that? do you like that? What's that? That's not kickboxing. It's not? Oh, no. maybe, maybe I don't really know then. But what I do know is... <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh. You lose. <laughs> yeah. Look at you now, you stupid fuck, eh? <laughs> Flawless victory! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Woo! So this one, I, I'm gonna, you know, go out on a limb and say that it's probably a no-no. Yeah. For many reasons. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you there, surprisingly. Legal, moral... Yeah, there's a long list of reasons. Religious... Mm -hmm. And hence it's red. All right. Start. Yeah, let's do this. Come on then. So first, no. I is... know what to do. I know what to do. Like, no, you should watch take this. a start. What the, what the, what the? You Make see sure that? Not. That was seven hits in you one second. You should take a starting position. What the, what the, what the? Yeah, you this see? Kind of crazy. What the? <laughs> and I pretend can I go here and what the? Is no, it? that's not right. That's well, show not, me what you've got. That's show not me. sport at all. Yeah, whatever. Starting show me. position is like this. Oh, it's boring. Come on. Look, just hit me. Hit me. You want me? Yeah, to you're not angry. You? I need to make you angry. Yeah, come on, you bitch. What you got? That's nothing. That's shit. Dude, come on. Sucking. Just making you angry so you do it properly. Yeah, I am angry already. Come on, you, you thought, you slug. Come on. Come on, you whore. Hit me. Why are you sad? Oh, oh. Oh, you, oh, oh my god, I, I was, I was, I'm so sorry, it was too rude. Can I help you? No, you've done enough, just get, get, I'm so get sorry. lost. Oh, oh my god. Just get out of here, darling. Oh. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Are you gonna be okay? Not today, so... Maybe next time? Oh my god. I'm so sorry, once again, I'm so sorry. Okay, darling, get lost, please. I'm so sorry. I don't think this is the best way to a woman's heart. <laughs> no. So, let's learn some techniques. Ah, oh, let's what? just try. What the? 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 And then... 
Uh, cool, the right option in this case, but obviously do not try this at home. I'm uh, highly trained in the arts martial, so I could do this effectively. But the point to mention is that, you know, to bridge that gap between the non-physical to the physical, you've got dancing, you've got massage, you've got just, you know, getting closer, a little play fighting, tiggling, all of this stuff does it. So. Yeah, I, would, I would say watch where you're throwing her, potentially, if you're going to be making this a regular occurrence, but... Not on a spiked bed or... Yeah, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. not. Can you fight? Do you do any? Yeah, I can do judo, actually. Hmm, amazing. Watch out. What the? <laughs> <laughs> this is mad. We're only just mad. You know, that's true. But I don't know about you, but to me, everything just feels really right. <laughs> I almost forgot. Look, we need to do this. Got a contract here. Hang on a second, I explain everything, right? What's that? So what we've got, we've got this contract. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just the terms, right? So we need to get this uh, consent. It's basically a consent form, just that you agree to f perform various services. We've got normal sex. It's not got the anal sex. I was. It's first. We don't need that in there. Uh Blow job is optional. That's, that's uh, clause sexy. two, paragraph three. Darling, we can't be sexy anymore. It's affirmative consent. So, you know, just just to run through it with you, basically, uh, is sex between twenty and forty minutes. You know, don't worry about that. That's gonna be good. Uh, Blow job optional. Anal, like I said, is not in there. Um, we've got a few different. We're gonna start on the couch, obviously. Then I think the kitchen table. Uh, that's Five in there. pages. Yeah, but don't worry, it's insured, so if anything breaks, you're covered. No, I don't feel and, like um, signing it anymore, and I don't feel like sex having with you anymore. Well, I understand it's not very sexy, darling, but these days, you know, we need to cover ourselves. Okay, so we don't I want... I'll send you my lawyer, okay? Tomorrow okay. he will come. <sighs> hmm, maybe it's too strict, maybe... So the formal paperwork drawn up by the team of lawyers. Just a big no-no. Okay, so serious one, uh -huh. very serious. What do guys do about consent? You know what? I think that if two people are naturally progressing to that point, you know, with honesty, with kindness, with respect to one another, then it's going to naturally progress that progress. I don't think you need necessarily a verbal exchange. Mm-hmm. It would kill the tension a little bit. No, I think bit. And it's not romantic. Mm -hmm. But if she says no or is well, obviously uncomfortable if she says at no any and point... It's uncomfortable, then that's a stop. Mm -hmm. Cool. There you go. What's that? Yo, what's up, Twitch? Yep, yeah, we're nearly at that moment. I'm going to go for it and beat my speed run. We're looking for 30 seconds. What are you doing? In there, bam, bam, bam. Are you finished me? within 30 seconds. Guys, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Talk to disrespect. Big shout out. We're going to beat your view really? count today. Yeah, are yeah, you babe. kidding me? Wait, wait. Oh, $500. I don't want to be on your Thank movie. you for the That's pledge. Crazy thank thing. you, thank you very much. Davey, 207. Stop touching me. No, no, 30 seconds, babe. I've got my timer already. It's the record. Well, like 31 seconds is the record. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for wait, it. Wait, wait. Ready, ready. Wait, stop. No, oh my God, what are you doing? Like, maybe? Quick, babe. Three seconds, four Crazy seconds. Director. I shit. So guys, um, we'll try again next week or tomorrow, but soon. Didn't work, and uh, I'll be back on Fortnite. Just give me a minute. Something was wrong with this one. Um, definitely shouldn't live stream your sex, right? You think? I think it's against the terms and conditions. Right. You know what's cool? It's the daytime, we're not drunk. 
So we have this real connection. Yeah? Right. So this is one of those situations where she could see it as either weird and something that shouldn't happen, or if you paint it as something cool and spontaneous and interesting and different and happening for the right reasons, then she's more likely to see it that way too. But if you kind of let the doubt go too long, then she might just say, this is weird, what are we doing? Yeah, you need to be confident with your actions for sure. No, 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 no. That's wrong. You sure? Yeah. I'm sure. I'm not ready. Not yet. No sex today, yeah? <laughs> no. Alright, no sex, no sex. Juice? Yeah. Okay. Dude, why'd you choose that? Help me out, man. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Um, Very wrong. No, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's no right or wrong answer. It's completely the woman's prerogative. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. So the daytime vodka shots? No, not cool. What would you think if I ordered vodka and was down in it on a date? On a lunchtime tea date. It's a casual, sunny afternoon. Just not the dumb thing. Obviously, I have amazing rap skills, so I can, I can, you know, do this. But yeah, if you, if you want to, I mean, you're always going to be asked your profession, so you should be able to answer it in an interesting way. If you can make her laugh or if you can be passionate about it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you should be ready for this question because you're always going to be asked it, so don't let it be boring. No, you can't be boring. You've got to be passionate about it or, as you say, make a joke of, out of what you do, but do something interesting. Who's your favourite mumble rapper? Oh, I have so many. You know, I just can't quite place a name at the moment, but come back to me. Okay. <laughs> So after chasing her this far, asking for a lift, not really, yeah, not really realistic. Gentlemanly. Could just run as well, or take Uber, or yeah, just, many options. Yeah, you're an adult, you can get around. This is cool because by saying that she's open and friendly, then in the minutes following this, she's likely to be more open and friendly because she's already agreed that she is. And you're also complimenting her on her character and not necessarily how she looks. And this is always a very good option. Do you like this question? No, I don't. I'm not even going to warrant a response to I've got, I've got a question, Go actually. On. Are you a good girl or a bad girl? <clears throat> Are you a great girl or a not great girl? Are you a naughty girl or a well-behaved girl? I'm a girl that's not interested in this conversation anymore, thank you. And there you have it. So this is an interesting one. And whenever you try to suggest something, some kind of, uh, you know, date or going somewhere, if you suggest it like this, you know, I'll pay for the juice, you pay for the gasoline, uh, it's much easier to say yes. If you say, can I come with you to the juice bar? Um, it's a little bit weaker and she's often going to say no even if she might otherwise have agreed. What do you think? Yeah, and you're also elongating the date by suggesting there's longevity and paying for the gasoline, you're going to go further <laughs> on in the day. Nice one. So this one is uh, too sexual. Yeah. Um, do you know this one? Yeah, I've just heard it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, did, did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Did you know? I didn't know. The other 7% sing. Do you know what song they sang? What? You don't know? No. Then you must be in the 93%. Boom. Hilarious. Like no. I don't. Just literally a conversation killer there. It's just not charming. There you have it. 
Admitting your mistakes is good. Uh -huh. Going too far, it kind of loses, you lose something if you're doing that. I'm so sorry, please forgive me if it's yeah, too it's much. Yeah, too, it's too much, mm -hmm. definitely too much. Nice one, this is the right option. Obviously, it is very bold, um, but you've already got some indicators of interest. She does want juice, you got the juice, why not? Look, there's nothing wrong with being bold and confident. That's nothing to, you know, to, to stop. It's an attractive quality. Good luck. Nice one, uh, that's the correct choice. Again, it's quite playful, but it's a little bit tongue in cheek. So she does get the idea that there's still this undercurrent of sexual tension. Yeah, she should know this is just a little joke and it's quite funny. This one I actually quite like because it's a way to talk about sex and also imply that you're good in bed. And by this point, it's maybe not terrible to, to talk about sex in the conversation. So it's not something I would personally do, but I think it's okay. It wouldn't be a killer. Wouldn't be a killer, no. Uh, cool, the right option in this case, but obviously do not try this at home. I'm uh, highly trained in the arts martial, so I could do this effectively. But the point to mention is that, you know, to bridge that gap between the non-physical to the physical, you've got dancing, you've got massage, you've got just, you know, getting closer, a little play fighting, tiggling, all of this stuff does it. So. Yeah, I, would, I would say watch where you're throwing her, potentially, if you're going to be making this a regular occurrence, but... Not on a spiked bed or... Yeah, yeah. Maybe and not. Can you fight? Do you do any...? Yeah, I can do judo, actually. Hmm, amazing. Watch out. What the...? <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of those situations where she could see it as either weird and something that shouldn't happen, or if you paint it as something cool and spontaneous and interesting and different and happening for the right reasons, then she's more likely to see it that way too. But if you kind of let the doubt go too long, then she might just say, this is weird, what are we doing? Yeah, you need to be confident with your actions for sure. Dude, why'd you choose that? Help me out, man. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Um, Very wrong. No, there's nothing wrong with that. You know. There's no right or wrong answer. It's completely the woman's prerogative. Are you sick a little bit? A little bit, got some sinus problems. It's all right. Okay. How's your business going? It's going really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product design now. Really? Furniture design, oh, yes. Wow. Very excited. Got two prototypes and they seem to be really nice. Oh, Everybody brilliant. likes them. But more importantly, how many followers you got on your honestly designed Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. Just 1,000 at the moment, but well, I that's hope we get good. more. Wicked. And I'm sorry I missed your birthday. I'm just, oh, yeah. the office, you know, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Okay, it was really nice party. Hmm. Yes. Sorry I wasn't there, but, but it's not all bad because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. You ready? I think so. Let, you've been wasting a lot of time with this uh, design business, so I've got your present in, you've got a Steam account now. And Steam I've, account? Yeah, and I've gifted you this game, check it out. Mm. So basically you're a dick, balls and an asshole, and you need to take your dick and fuck the other asshole. It's called genital My jousting. Dick. Yeah. I thought it's your kind of thing, because you like, mm. yeah? You like it? <laughs> because I like dicks, yeah? Well, who doesn't, right? Mm. Mm. I don't think I understand it. So, I what am I supposed play it together. to do? Well, you control the dick, you know, you go around to get to the asshole, fuck the asshole. The other guy's trying to do it to you, and, you know, you can play multiplayer mm. and all that. Very exciting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very intellectual as well. Mm, I think my design is 
interesting. Couldn't you do some design, interior design or product design? Nah, no, just me? play this genital oh, jousting you... shit, man. That's what I do. You okay. know me. Mm. I like this one too. Do you like it? Give him a computer game. Give on him Steam. a computer game. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. What but if she doesn't? A, well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer what games. What if she doesn't, but you want her to like them? Then I think you're kind of... No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. Okay, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? Oh, it's the best present ever! Is that the right answer? Yeah. Okay. This is great, you know, and I'm happy we can still be friends after, um, you know, when we had sex. Yeah? yeah? You remember, yeah, yeah. that time, yeah. like in my house and we had some jinks and yeah. when you just broke up and... Yeah? You remember? Yeah, I, yeah? I, yeah, I see what you, what you mean, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a I big day, yeah. Oh, yeah. is she good? Oh, she's really smart. I think she's going to be great, yeah? I oh, hope so. Hope mm -hmm. she can work it out. Mm -hmm. Sarah, could you come in, please? Okay, well, it's your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Nothing too hard. Let me ask you to... So far, so good, but I've noticed one big problem. So we need to fix it, all right? Do you know what it is? No. You're stapling. Stapling? Yep, it's just not gonna cut it. So how are we gonna do this? Okay, give me a hand. Come on, let's get this sorted, come on. Okay, so it's all in the way you touch it. Have it a grip with your little finger here, like that, get your thumb in there. Yeah, that's it. Grip it and then push down. Uh -huh. You got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, let me try. Okay. Yeah, try. Give me a hand. Do that? Ambulance! Call an ambulance! Ooh, still I mean, got the scar from that one. Yeah, I think that was pretty deserved. Sarah, we're going to have problems, you know, because you haven't been here long, right? Not long at all. But I can't do any work because I'm just looking at you and I'm just thinking of fucking you, bending you over the desk, boom, 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 you know. What are we going to do about it? Can you say it one more time? Repeat myself? Yeah. Alright, well, you're very distracting, very beautiful, and I'm just sitting here fantasizing you, like fucking you here, fucking you there on my couch, fucking you when all these losers go home. Okay, th that's enough. I'm sending this to everyone. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. You are going to be fired for joking, that. Joking, joking, everyone. It's a April Fool's Day in June. For fuck's sake, man. Bad one, right? Yeah? Totally a bad one. Really inappropriate. Huh? 
I know. Look, I've got some uh, files, yeah? I just had this big pile. It was really disorganized. And if you can organize them, it would be great. So just into different, you know, mm -hmm. piles okay. or whatever, like, you know, the FDA stuff, the different uh, various things. So I've just put them all on the floor because there wasn't much space on this big desk. So uh, okay. do you think you can do yeah, it? I'll yeah, I'll do that. Just um, get in there and... You got them? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, um... Actually, they're not that important. Just uh, put them somewhere in your desk. Um, okay. All right, thank you. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from my office days. When uh -huh. I was uh, 18 years old, I worked for a software company called Autonomy in right. Cambridge, England. And the director put a bunch of stuff in the corner and then asked the sexy temp to kind of pick it up and he was just watching her do it. So it's actually a true story. And she was just being polite and helpful in the office. She had to do her job. So what's she going to say? No, I'm not going to pick it up. But everyone kind of knew that it was uh, a way to just check out her I'm off. sure they told her as well. So is that a good thing for a boss to do? No. Don't well, I suppose do she it. doesn't know, but don't obviously do it because you're a nice Gentlemen. Very bad. Mr. Lorena, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? It's a lot of mail, yeah? Yeah. Quite big? Yeah, big. Yeah. I know what you could do with it. What? Just arrange it. You think you could do that? Yes, sure. Yeah, I bet you could. Yep. Okay. Oh, go on then. Oh, he's so fucking creepy. Normally it's okay, obviously, to be flirty and cheeky. Um, in the office, you have a few reasons why not to do that. So one that I would give is that um, you're going to be exposed over time, so you don't need to rush it, and you can kind of wait till you sense that there's something there. Yeah, you don't want to rush into it, get the wrong idea. You should be professional. Absolutely. Yeah, and she'll lose respect if you're not professional. Mr. Lorena. Yeah, what's going on? I have Thomas Green on the phone for you. No, wait, wait. Hey, hey Thomas, how you doing buddy? No, 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 that's just rumours started by short sellers. You know what those guys do, pushing down the share price. 3,000%. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we only raised the price on that drug 2,800 and something, 823, something like that. But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. No, uh, fake news. Look, that's fake news. I've got to go. I'm sorry, I've got a meeting. Yes, yes, I understand. Another time, another time. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. Sarah, get in here, please. Do you realise what you just done? You put through this fucking guy, Thomas Green, he's on the do not answer list, right? 20 people are on there. All these shitty journalists, all trying to dig and find out stuff and publish shitty articles, and you put him straight through to me, the CEO. Do you know how uncomfortable that was for me? It's my first week. It's gonna be your fucking last week if you carry on with this shit. 
Your job is easy. You answer the phone. You do some filing. You do emails. It's not rocket science. Oh, you're crying now. Well, fuck off out of it. And if you answer the phone again and put these fuckers through, I'll cut your hand off and send you to Saudi Arabia. I'll piss off. A bit too much. Bad, sorry. Yeah. Don't need to make her cry, right? Never make anyone cry. What about me? I might cry. This Thomas Green guy is on the list of people that you don't put through. He's an annoying prick journalist. All right. Mm -hmm. Now there's going to be some article about how we're raising drug prices and all this shit again. <sighs> What I want you to do is go and book a hotel for lunchtime, bang your brains out, and then maybe you'll work a little bit better after that. Okay? okay. All right. Go and book the hotel and get ready. Maybe wear some sexy underwear or something. Hello, Mr. Beckham. Um, I have a delicate situation here. Uh, Mr. Lorena offered me to book a hotel room to have sex with him. Um, I'll text you the details, okay? So you meet us there? Okay, thank you so much. This is a um, true story from my office life. Really? Yeah, the boss um, took the secretary away at lunchtime. Everyone knew about it. Sarah, do you know what you just did? Yeah? This guy, Thomas Green, is a real asshole. Okay, so he's on the list. You've got it there somewhere in your desk, right? Yeah. You know that one, 20 people not to yes, put through? All right, he's gonna probably write a bad article or whatever. Don't worry, you just started. Everyone can make one or two mistakes, it's all right. But in future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy, he's in a meeting, he's out, that kind of thing, all right? But don't worry too much, just, you know, be careful. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be right. more careful in the future. Okay, don't worry about it. That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance. If they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but, you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally, you know, you respect him in his position. Mr. Lorino. Yeah? You have three meetings coming up today. Okay. First one with the FDA guy. All right, I'm going to need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second one with R&D manager. Okay. He's useless. What's the next one? And the last one is with Phil Beckman. Okay. Now, you know, I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. So you know how he likes his coffee. He likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. You've been working here for a while now, Sarah, and I've noticed something. It's a little bit personal, but basically these outfits you're wearing, they're not really working, okay? You look like a cross between Hillary Clinton and that Angela Merkel German one, you know? So we're gonna have to sort this out. I need you to take the skirt up quite a lot, 
you know, I need just a little bit of ass cheek to be visible. And I oh, don't know what to do upstairs. I mean, you've got some boobs, right? Push up bra, low cut top, pum, there we go. All right, you can have some budget from the company to go shopping. You know what? Yeah? You have to send an official request to the HR department first. HR department, fuck that, it's my company. I'll tell them right now. Sarah, get HR. HR. Sally, Sally, get in here. Sally, the HR one, get her someone. This could be a problem with uh, HR and maybe... Um, yeah, I'd be on the phone to HR pretty quickly. Could it escalate, right? Definitely, and it's not going to end well for him. I've seen you reading those magazines there. Um, do you know anything about dream analysis? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like that stuff, like if, you're, what is it, if your teeth fall out in your dream, then you're going to die or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, help me with this. I, I had a dream last night. Mm -hmm. I was lying on the beach, eyes closed, sun beating down, sound of the waves, giant erection. And then I just heard some footsteps. Someone pulled down my shorts. Then they sat on my dick, started riding, and I heard your voice. And then I opened my eyes. Bam, there you were. Well, what do you think that dream means? This is so, so disgusting. Yeah, what does it mean? It means go fuck yourself, okay? Hmm, that's one interpretation. Okay. Completely inappropriate. Ah. Sarah, you know my mum calls all the time, right? Yeah. So you know we're pretty close. And it's her birthday coming up. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to ask for your help. Um, it needs to be something... Obviously, you know, we can buy her something extravagant. Mm -hmm. But she really likes it when I'm thoughtful and, you know, you know me better by now. So yeah. could you just think a little bit and see if you have any ideas and then we can have a little brainstorm, you know, and see what yeah, we can sure. get her. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. We've still got a month, but... Yeah. No. Okay. All right, thank I'll you very much. That's right, so it's already been a little while, so revealing a little bit of personal information at this time is cool, and it's, uh, it's not super personal, it's just the right amount of personal. Yeah, and you're not re you're, you're seeing how she acts and finding out something about her choosing gifts, a bit about her character. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can learn about her character by what she comes up with. These poor fuckers aren't going to stand there. Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Mr. Lorena. Oh, call me Richard. Okay. Do you have a good weekend? Yeah, I do. Listen, I wanted to ask you, when was the last time you got fucked properly? You know, like, really, really well. Excuse and you're me? Like, yeah. Huh? That's none of your business. Well, you work for me, so I make it my business. So I actually heard a guy ask um, a girl this question. Mm. Yeah, she said, when was the last time you were fucked properly? Um, it's quite clear why this is red. Yeah, right? definitely. So how was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? You know, mine, it was hard in many ways, right? Because first I had to do all this, um, you know, finishing the investor presentation, all that rubbish. But Saturday night, this chick came around, Dorothy, oh my god, her body's amazing. God. Obviously she came to bang, so that was all as usual. But get this, she wanted it up her ass. She was, so we had oh, anal. Well, no, yeah. no, but stop do you it, do this it? is do you disgusting. Like no. Do you like, you don't like it? Maybe no. try. I'm gonna take you to court for that. All right, as long as it's after we do it, then I don't mind. 
It's normal office conversation, no? I don't think so. Uh, and certainly not the explicit detail part. Ah, that's the problem. How was your weekend? It was fun. Um, I went to go karting with oh, my yeah? friends. Yeah, it was I'm so surprised. Much fun. Yeah, you like racing and stuff. Yeah, I do. Actually, mm. driving is my passion. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. And how was your weekend? Oh, I was good. I had to finish some work and then just yeah, relax, watch the movie, and uh, it was pretty good. I'm, I feel rested, but I didn't know we had a speed freak in the office. Well, now you know. This seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, agreed. It's not too uh, personal, but for a Monday morning in an office, it's, uh, it's definitely okay. Um, but it might reveal something that, you know, is, uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe you have some common ground somewhere, something you share in common that you can talk about. Sarah, how long have you been working for us now? Uh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I think you're doing great so far. You know, Thank everything's you. cool, pretty much. And I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what, how do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop and mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in all areas of the business. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very happy. Sarah, you know what, I think you're taking all this a little bit too seriously. I mean, you're a secretary. You're not really going to be more than that. Why don't you just think about your life outside, right? Like, find a man, have a little baby, little baby Sarah, ding, 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 you know, all this stuff. Because, how old are you? 22. 22. Do you have a man? No. Oh, God. I mean, you need to hurry up, find a man, get married, have babies. You're a woman, after all. You're you know? such a sexist pig. I know. Cheers. All right, well, I hope that was useful. So, misogynic, Miss Dick. Misogynic, Dick, Dick, Trick. Misogynist. Misogynist. He's a misogynist. He's and a misogynist. This is why it doesn't work. And in general, should a woman uh, focus on her career or have a family? It's completely up to her. Cool. You know, it's a bit difficult because on one hand, you're very good, yeah? Nice telephone voice. Hello, this is Sarah. Richard and Co, lovely, all of that stuff. Filing, A to Z, perfect. But we've got problems, you know? Conference call, uh, question from Morgan Stanley. Why aren't you there sucking my dick under the table? Excuse me? Yeah, you need to improve. Otherwise, you can be secretary forever. Go fuck yourself, you're so disgusting. What's this, your diary where you talk about me? It's just some shit meetings and stuff. This one a bit crude? Yeah, really crude. Next time. We... Right, right. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Here, there's another one, dude. Here. Here you go. Sarah, you know what, um, the person that had your job before you, they're actually doing really well now in another business. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of opportunities. I, I didn't know you had that kind of ambition, but here's what I can do. You know, we've got all the different departments here, everything from IT to marketing to the research and development guys. So why don't I invite you to more meetings, more events, and that way you're just going to learn about all the different sides of the business 
and we can see what you like, see how things go, and yeah, maybe maybe we can find something better for you in the future. How does that sound? Really good, thank you. That's the right option, and for all guys that are kind of older and have a lot of experience and, you know, maybe in a, in a good job or just have some amount of knowledge, uh, demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious and he's also ambitious for her as well. Sarah, are you there? Yes, Richard. I shouldn't, but... Sarah, tell me, what kind of food do you like? Food? Yeah, yeah, just tell me. This actually happened. Really? Yeah, uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Sarah, what are you wearing right now? Um, one what, moment. What colour underwear? Can you check the label, Mr. Lorraine? Mine cooler, mine cooler, abort. What? A little bit lewd behaviour. Not appropriate in the office, right? Definitely not appropriate in the office. Sarah, are you free tomorrow? There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry bigwigs there. It's going to be super, super cool. Do you want to yeah. come? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. Okay, great. So this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little bit between office and social and you could do it with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip but a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it unprofessional uh, just in case. This is a little bit too early, don't you think? And getting drunk first and... Exactly. Yeah. A little bit inappropriate. So, you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yeah, I did. Did anything happen? Oh, it was a disaster. He started touching me and it was so awkward. Oh, what a creep. Yeah. So it's the first time out of the office, slightly flirty. Mm, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity, but then I don't know. It just depends on the woman, maybe. It's also that it's the first time, yeah. right? So to kind of get through that in a professional way is... I, I think, think it's a best. big tick if you can do that. So you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Um, no, it was fine. Uh, he was kind of flirting, but I guess that was just the drinks. <sighs> he probably drinks too much. Yeah, maybe. Okay, marketing team. It's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So, who has a fantastic idea? Mr. Laruina. Gerald, okay. I've got one. I've been working on a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. 
I have a three post today with the funny quotes, health tips, and picture of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media, so we'll gain a lot of shares, would we'll increase our likes. I'll send some concepts. Uh, what do you think about this idea? Uh, it's about going to be cost about fifteen thousand dollars per month budget to get up to hundred thousand followers within six months. Do you want to know what I think of that idea, Gerald? Everyone, you want to know? Yeah, was it a good idea? Do you want to know? All right, check it out. Gerald, this plant is your idea. I'll show you what I think of your fucking idea, yeah? So this is a Harvey move, Harvey Weinstein. Ew. Bad for the plant, yeah? Anti-plant, mainly is. Anti-plant, anti-everything. Congratulations, Gerald. For the fucking stupidest idea I've ever heard in this office, you fucking marketing team. Look how many of you. I want one good idea, I get this bullshit. Sarah, you don't need notes for this shit. Look, next person that comes up with some fucking shit like this is fired. All right, Gerald, you think about that, all right? So, stupid idea. Obviously, the boss has the power to humiliate. And I remember in the company I worked in, uh, the boss used to scream, ah, come in my office, whoever it was. Come in. I remember he made my boss cry. She came out crying. So, there are definitely some bosses that do it. Yeah, you don't want someone who can abuse their power, really. No. It doesn't show good character traits. No. So, humiliate, not usually correct. No. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good, and you? Oh, I'm alright. I'm a little bit embarrassed though that um, I've got a massive wine stain on, on my shirt. It's a disaster. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault. It was busy, but we don't need that kind of thing, you know? Wine stains are just never, never a good look. Do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, okay. All sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine stain. No. No, no, I didn't. All right, cool. How was the business trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. Sarah, did you read our updated privacy policy? No. No, you didn't. Well, yeah, basically we don't have one. So I'm going to need uh, to add you on Facebook. It's just routine. It's just to make sure that, you know, you're kind of showing the company in the right way. You're not doing anything you know, yeah, that I'm, wouldn't I, be appropriate. I, I, so. I would do that, but I don't have a Facebook account. What are you, a granny? You don't have Facebook? No, Instagram? I don't. No, I don't use social media. WeChat? Ty, what is the other one? Weibo? No? No. Uh, do you have any like photo albums at home? Yeah, at home. All right, bring a few of those in, that'll do. That's all. She's really not on Facebook. Sarah? Well, I don't have Facebook. You don't have Facebook? Nope. She doesn't have it either? Well, there we go, can't be done. You don't have it at all? Nope. Instagram? Yes. What's your Instagram? At CQ Jones. CQ Jones? Yeah. But it's not a company policy for me to add my I boss need to on check it. it. <laughs> no, but that's actually something that goes on these days, isn't it? Really? I think, um, it's a people, company policy to have Facebook. Yeah, people definitely get fired for stuff they post on Facebook. That's true, it's um, true, you're people, representing the company. Yeah. Representing the company, if you, especially if you put employer is whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Sarah, can you come in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah,、oh, it's brilliant. Those short sellers got fucked. We smashed them. Brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. Share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking money out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. Yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. So let's arrange a team dinner, yeah, like Friday night, somewhere nice.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pay everyone back. But you know what? What? You also played your part, little Missy. So I want to say thank you for the support. Now you need some legal support. Oh, I love it. I love it. She's so fiery. Ah, <sighs> sexy bitch. What will I do with her? For a job well done. Just inappropriate. Let's arrange like a team dinner, yeah. Just take everyone out, say thank you for everything. I'm telling you, I'm not finished with those guys. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? These short sellers. We're gonna take them to the fucking cleaners. We're gonna take every penny, right? We're gonna go after their families, their families' family, and their families' 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 family family. Isn't、right? that too much? We're gonna squeeze them till they bleed out of their asses. All right. So don't think this is over. This war has only just begun.、We're、gonna crush them, little fucks. You with me? Um, may I leave now? Yeah, sure. Just、uh, look up some addresses. Get their mothers' home numbers. So a little bit of competitiveness, probably it's not okay. Not a bad thing, yeah. Crushing, killing, destroying, pummeling, grinding into dust. Yeah, it just gets a bit much, doesn't it? Richard,、yeah? everything is arranged. Oh great! Thank you. Yeah,、um, I just wanted to tell you something that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Yeah, you know what, Sarah? I was really stressed, and I'm sorry if I was a bit sharp with you at times or anything like that. You know, it happens. But now we're in a good time, so all is well, and. I think you bring this calm to the office, and it、oh, definitely helps so the atmosphere. Oh, it's so nice to hear that. Yeah, you have a great energy. Thank you. Excellent. Well done, Sarah. You know what? What? You know what? I think you're ready for some new responsibilities. Would you agree? You've been working here a while. I don't know. All right, got something for you. Are you ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! What's going on? Someone, your... please help! You've got to do it. No, no. That was totally diabolical. Absolutely ridiculous. We've been working together a long time now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's going pretty well. Yeah. And I do have some feelings for you. I have to say. <sighs> you could potentially、oh. have a harassment suit there. Harassment suit. Yeah, if you're pushing up against the wall,、yeah. she doesn't expect it. But it's a glass wall, so everyone can see. Is that better or worse? 
I mean, now you've got proof. So, <laughs> what? Better? I don't know. Yeah, and you're causing her all kinds of problems because uh, everyone will think that she's just sleeping with the boss for promotions or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well done. Everyone is talking about you in the office. They say you're fucking the boss to get promoted or to get extra stock options. <laughs> you're my friend, but if this is true, <sighs> screw you. I like this one too. Do you like it? Give them a computer game? Give them Steam. a computer game. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. What well, if she doesn't? A, well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer what games. What if she doesn't, but you want her to like them? Then I think you're kind of... No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. Okay, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? Oh, it's the best present ever! Is that the right answer? Yeah. Okay. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from my office days. When uh -huh. I was uh, 18 years old, I worked for a software company called Autonomy in right. Cambridge, England. And the director put a bunch of stuff in the corner and then asked the sexy temp to kind of pick it up. And he was just watching her do it. So it's actually a true story. And she but was just being polite and helpful in the office. She had to do her job. So what's she going to say? No, I'm not going to pick it up. But everyone kind of knew that it was... Uh, a way to just check out her I'm off. sure they told her as well. So is that a good thing for a boss to do? No. Don't well, I suppose do she it. doesn't know, but don't obviously do it because you're a nice gentleman. Very bad. Normally it's okay, obviously, to be flirty and cheeky. Um, in the office, you have a few reasons why not to do that. So one that I would give is that um, you're going to be exposed over time, so you don't need to rush it, and you can kind of wait till you sense that there's something there. Yeah, you don't want to rush into it, get the wrong idea. And you should be professional. Absolutely. Yeah, and she'll lose respect if you're not professional. That's the right option. You know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance. If they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but, you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally, you know, you respect him in his position. That's right, so it's already been a little while, so revealing a little bit of personal information at this time is cool, and it's, uh, it's not super personal, it's just the right amount of personal. Yeah, and you're not really, you're, you're seeing how she acts and finding out something about her choosing gifts, a bit about her character. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can learn about her character by what she comes up with. This seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, agreed. It's not too uh, personal, but for a Monday morning in an office, it's, uh, it's definitely okay. Um, but it might reveal something that, you know, is, uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe you have some common ground somewhere, something you share in common that you can talk about. That's the right option, and for all guys that are kind of older and have a lot of experience and, you know, maybe in a, in a good job or just have some amount of knowledge, uh, demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious, and he's also ambitious for her as well. So this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little bit between office and social. And you could do it with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip. But a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it on professional, uh, just in case. This is a little bit too early, don't you think? And getting drunk first and... Exactly. Yeah. A little bit inappropriate. So it's the first time out of the office, slightly flirty. 
Mm, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity, but then I don't know. It just depends on the woman, maybe. It's also that it's the first time, yeah. right? So to kind of get through that in a professional way is... I, I think, think it's a big tick if you can do that. So stupid idea. Obviously, the boss has the power to humiliate. And I remember in the company I worked in, uh, the boss used to scream, "Ah, come in my office, whoever it was. Come in. I remember he made my boss cry. She came out crying. So there are definitely some bosses that do it. Yeah, you don't want someone who can abuse their power, really. No. It doesn't show good character traits. No. So humiliate, not usually correct. No. Well, I don't have Facebook. You don't so. have Facebook? Nope. She doesn't have it either? Well, there we go. Can't be done. You don't have it at all? Nope. Instagram? Yes. What's your Instagram? At CQ Jones. CQ Jones? Yeah. But it's not a company policy for me to add my boss I need to on check it. it. <laughs> no, but that's actually something that goes on these days, isn't it? Really? I think, um, it's people... a company policy to have Facebook. Yeah, people definitely get fired for stuff they post on Facebook. That's true. It's and true. You're people... representing the company. Yeah. Representing the company, if you, especially if you put employer is whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of competitiveness, probably it's no okay. Bad thing, yeah. Crushing, killing, destroying, pummeling, grinding into dust. Yeah, it just gets a bit much, doesn't it? Excellent. Well done. Uh, you could potentially oh. have a harassment suit there. Harassment suit. Yeah, if you're pushing up against the wall yeah. and she doesn't expect it. But it's a glass wall so everyone can see. Is that better or worse? I mean, now you've got proof, so... <laughs> what? Better? I don't know. Yeah, and you're causing her all kinds of problems because uh, everyone will think that she's just sleeping with the boss for promotions or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely.